How we doing, guys? Coach, doing well, Frank. Coach, how are you? How you doing? Doing well. Doing well. How was our uh, first day out here? It was great. Uh, refreshing. Good to be back out here. Beautiful weather. Guys flying around. Uh, just really competing. Energy and effort was evident today. So uh, enjoy day one. Anybody jump out as far as uh? Um, no, I can't say anyone uh, jumped out. Uh, I think as a team, you uh, you saw the spirit, you saw the energy, you saw the effort. Um, it's so much to to learn right now uh, as we go through installation number one. Guys, really, uh, you see their brain working as they try to position themselves to to make the right cut, the, the right block, uh, the right tackle or, or route. And so uh, that's a good thing uh, for us. It, it, it was a lot of mental, although when we go team uh, offense against defense, of course, that brings out the very best in the guys, and they got after it. So uh, it was good to see that, but no no, no stalwarts uh, just yet. What's uh, your schedule, Coach, in terms of right getting into full stands tonight? Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll be in uh, helmets only again tomorrow. Uh, and then on Thursday, on Friday, we'll be in shells, uh, helmets and shoulder pads. Uh, we'll go spring break, and then we'll come back and uh, it'll be padded practices throughout the duration. And the next uh, helmet only will be right before the spring game. Uh, Fridays will generally be a scrimmage, 50% uh, scrimmage day. So full pads Monday? Uh, full pads Monday, yeah. Coach, I know it's just spring ball, but do you come out here and kind of, you know, give it all so can you set the pace? Already from day one, for the rest yeah, of the you have to. You know, we, we have one speed here, full speed. Uh, because if you if you if you try to gauge it and slow them down and speed them up, uh, that's when you have inconsistency. And so for us, we tell them a day like today, uh, we practice like pros. We learn how to use our feet. We learn how to use our hands to engage, to disengage, uh, to escape, to make plays. Uh, that, that are pivotal. Uh, the only thing that is not sincere is contact, but everything else is still full speed for us. Some of the guys unrecognizable. <clears throat> how much weight did they put on? What are we all doing in the off season that they were? They are so yeah. big now. Yeah, they. Uh, Coach Philo and his staff have done an outstanding job of getting our guys bigger. Uh, we have guys that are as, as minimal as five, as maximum as, as 25 pounds in the case of Marcus Davenport and some of the other guys. And then we have uh, guys that have gotten lean, like David Anzadula, who have uh, leaned up, who are at the 340 marks and 20 pounds uh, <coughs> leaner than they were uh, just even in, in December. Frank, uh, you look at Marcus. <coughs> Put 25 pounds on him. Looks like he could score more on him very easily. Like that. He looks yeah. yeah, he does. Uh, Eric Banks as well, Solomon Wise as well. All of those guys, 10, 15, 20 pounds uh, of muscle. They put it on the right way. And, uh, you know, we like where they at. They can probably gain a little more, uh, but they're certainly making the progress we've been looking for. What's the first day? What you see in the quarterback? <laughs> Steady play, uh, you know, the guys are making strides. I thought all of them competed today, tried to do the things that we asked of them. Uh, it was a little, you know, we had a handful of run plays and a handful of passing uh, pass plays today, mostly a quick game. Nothing really where they had many progressions and throwing it down the field with shot plays, but uh, <clears throat> that'll come, excuse me, that'll come as uh, the practices and the installs happen, and uh, hopefully they can continue to develop and build on it. Specifically, what are you looking for from Dalton over the next three or four weeks? Consistency uh, for him to have the ability uh, with his accuracy to be consistent, to put the ball where it needs to be uh, every time it's snapped and the route is called, and to have the discipline to take what the defense give you and check the ball down and uh, get your running backs involved in the game and, and take the intermediate shots at times when you need to and um, just to be very mature and disciplined about his progressions. When you look back at his season last year, I wonder if you could give us kind of an analysis of what you thought of him. Uh, yeah, I thought he developed. Uh, I thought he still showed some immaturity at times. Uh, wanted, you know, every quarterback wants to be able to be the difference maker. And what they have to realize is just do your job. Doing your job is good enough. And your job may be to throw the five-yard route or the check down and not try to squeeze it in between guys. I thought he did that, got better as the season went on. Uh, and then there's times we need to keep our head downfield and not just take off and scramble because uh, as we go through our progression, that, that backside route might be there. And so he matured as the season went on. We wanted to continue to do so this spring. Is 
a little bit of that though understandable considering that was a hard period to work yeah, with. Yeah, right. certainly it is. And that's why uh you know, that's why we, we like where he is. You know, we think he'll be able to help our team and continue to develop, and we're pleased with the progress he's making. This is the first time we see Bo Davis in action. What do you like about his coaching style? <clears throat> uh, <laughs> his energy, you know, his, uh, his football IQ. You know, he's an experienced defensive line coach that has uh, that, that has in knowledge that, that that's priceless for us. He's able to get the guys in position and do the things that uh, that they need to do to motivate and to give them constructive criticism along the way. How did he look out here, stepping back on the field, being around the guys? And you talked about he was eager to get back out here. Yeah, I didn't pay much attention to him. I heard him, <laughs> but uh, I didn't necessarily watch him. So um, I, I suppose he did his job like a pro, like he's supposed to. Coach, uh, what do you think about the uh, the group of safeties that you have available to you this spring? Do you have enough of them? Uh, what do you uh, what's your appraisal of? Yeah, I think we have enough. Uh, you know, they they lack they lack the experience that you like, but that's what spring football is for. And so uh, it'll be good for them to get these valuable reps uh, throughout spring football to develop, so that they, they'll have an opportunity to take the field. Are you are you looking at possibly any, any of your corners uh, maybe moving back there? Uh, at some, at that's some a possibility. Yeah, yeah, it's a possibility. Sounds like even with the first day, you can't drop passes out here. No, no, you can't <laughs> drop passes. Uh, that, that's not acceptable. It's all about the ball. That is Bryce Rivers getting in some reps also. Yeah. So will he be with y'all for the spring, and what are you looking forward to? <clears throat> His uh, development. You know, Bryce, uh, you know, just three months ago was in high school. And uh, here he is with us. Uh, he's doing a great job of being a student in the game understanding the playbook and the things that we're asking of him. Uh, and so we'll bring him along slowly as his development happens. Hey, what happened to Coach Sands? It looks like a top of the Yeah, he uh, had an Achilles uh, deal and uh, had a procedure, but he's good. So was that running for an uh, airplane when he was out recruiting? No. <laughs> I'm not sure what quite happened. I think he was playing racquetball or something. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Thank you, Coach. Thanks, 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 Coach. Th